A what? And? Which one is the green one? What is it? Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be painting some dinosaurs. So let's jump right in. Okay, so today we are drawing and painting dinosaurs. And this is something my son absolutely loves. And a few people have asked me to do it before, but now we are going to do them. So I'm just gonna go through my materials. I am drawing and painting on Arches watercolor paper. I have my Winsor Newton professional watercolors in my palette. I have my Princeton snap brush in a size 12 and a size six, and also a pencil and an eraser. So as you can already see, I have drawn the outline of the dinosaurs. And the reason why I didn't do that on camera is because it took me a very long time <laughs> to get the proportions right. I'm gonna go um, through kind of step by step of how I did it, but if I tried filming it, it, it would have bored you to death because it took a very long time. Okay, so I actually decided to show you how I drew this a bit differently. So I finished the paintings already, um, but what I did was I uploaded the picture of them to my iPad so I could show you how I drew them and sketch them out for you on here. And then I'll be able to upload the sketches so you guys can trace them if you want to. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lower the opacity on this so I don't see it too, too much. And I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna draw my new layer. Okay, so the way I drew these dinosaurs is I visualized shapes first. So let's start with the head. I started with an oval shape for the top part of the head and then a longer oval shape for the bottom and they're kind of connecting at the jaw then i did another oval here for the body and then i did an upside down kind of teardrop shape for this leg here and then i brought it down on an angle so back and forward and then just kind of did a bumpy long claw like foot okay and then I did the same kind of thing with the back leg I just didn't do the big upside down teardrop so I brought it forward at the knee back forward and then that claw foot shape okay so now we're gonna connect the head and the body so at the head um, you're just gonna do a little bump for the eye and maybe another slight little bump there and then bring it down. And then you're just gonna connect the back of the head to the body and then the bottom of the jaw to the body. You can do a little arm here so it's like a little oval, longer sideways oval, and then this little claw hand, okay? And then down the back of the body, you can make it a little bit bumpier too to make it a little bit more realistic. You're gonna come back out and then do the tail, okay? So then what you're gonna do, I'm gonna lower the opacity on this little sketch so it's nice and light, okay? And then I'm just gonna go around the drawing and you can do this with your pen. So I would suggest you do these shapes with a pencil and then do the outline with a pencil and then if you want to, you can outline it with a pen and then erase all the, in, um, the inner sketches. So I hope this all makes sense. Okay, so you're just gonna go around shape of the dinosaur now you can do the teeth like that come down you have to do the sound when you do the teeth i'm kidding i'm going to do a little bit of the shoulder here okay come underneath that arm and then the back leg i'm actually going to draw that thigh because they have really really big meaty thighs um, so yeah, make sure you draw that. You don't have to draw it fully, just a little bit if you want. Come back, forward, and a claw foot kind of hits here. Think of like a high heel, like that. Forward, back, forward, forward, back, forward, like a zigzag, like that. And I'm actually gonna draw the back, like the stomach area over that leg, cause that leg's behind. Come down the back, out for the tail, like that. And then I can delete my first little layers and there's my T-Rex drawing, okay? So I'll leave that on my Instagram and on Pinterest for you to trace if you'd like. 
and we'll do the other ones now. Now, this one, I didn't sketch out as many shapes as I did. Um, I'll show you. So the first thing I started with, I started off with this little triangle, little triangle here, and then I scooped up, let's try that again, little triangle, and then I scooped up, and then did a little bit of like scalloping like that, okay? And then I came down, and I did a little curve, in, out, curve down, and then I did the neck, and I stopped right underneath where that scalloping is, okay? So now if you wanna do like a, a shape for the body, you can use a shape here, so like maybe like a circle, like that just to help you, and you can connect the back up over that circle, go back, do the tail. This one's not as hard. Stop, kind of right where that tail starts. This goes back underneath for the belly, like that. And then the legs um, are kind of the same thing. I'm gonna draw the shoulder. These ones are a little bit easier legs. They're more straight, stocky legs. The back thigh, again, kind of like an upside down teardrop. And then you're just gonna come straight down. This one, like that. And then lastly, these horns. So one horn is gonna come in and one horn is gonna be behind. Okay, so now I'm gonna lower the opacity on this one. Well, I don't know what I just did. There we go. <laughs> and then I'm gonna create a new layer and go around and sketch that out. And there is our outline of a Triceratops. Okay, so now we are gonna paint our Triceratops and our T-Rex. Okay, so pick your colors that you want for your dinosaurs. They do not have to be realistic. They can be as fun and colorful as you like. Uh, make sure that you erase any pencil marks that you don't need or just lighten them up so you don't see them too much underneath. So pick your colors and let's start. So I am going to start with our Triceratops. I think I'm gonna do a reddish brownish Triceratops. So I have this color brown matter here, which is a really nice reddish brown. And I'm just gonna take a really light wash of it and I'm gonna go over the whole Triceratops, like so, with a light wash of it. So I'm actually, I'm actually gonna leave the front leg, so I'm gonna leave space for the front leg. So I'm just gonna create a little shoulder there for that Triceratops and then create another lump here for the back leg. And we're gonna leave that white for now. So just fill in the rest of the dinosaur, leaving all legs at this point. Making sure it's all nice and wet. Okay, like that. And what you can do to make sure it's evenly wet is just tilt it towards your light. Make sure there's a nice light shine. I see it's starting to dry there a bit. So I'm just gonna add a bit more water. Okay, just make sure it's all evenly wet so we can get the wet on wet technique working really well with this, okay? Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my reddish brownish color and I'm gonna start dropping in right up the back here and along the tail. Just some lines and letting it bleed out and I'm gonna go over the tail like that, giving it a fun texture and pattern, okay? I'm gonna go up the face here like that and then I think I'm gonna take a bit of yellow ochre so it's a bit of a brownier yellow and I'm gonna go along the tummy here. I'm just gonna Let it bleed and along the bottom side of the tail like that. You can do some dots if you like, maybe underneath the chin a bit, whatever you want. 
Okay, just really playing with those textures of the watercolor by just creating dots and lines on the wet on wet and it really like that creates such a cool pattern. I'm gonna take a little bit of my, my um, sorry, I'm gonna take my smaller brush and I'm gonna go back in with that darker reddish color again. And I'm gonna create a bit of texture on this part, maybe some dots and then right where those horns are gonna be too, maybe that around the mouth like that just having fun with it and then i think i'm going to take some burnt umber maybe a little bit of sepia or black and i might just slightly make sure you don't have too much on your brush just go up the back just a bit just to darken it up like that and you can just add dots in there or lines whatever you feel like Maybe along the belly too a bit. Okay. I'm gonna try and separate this head part a bit. Have it come in with this dark brown. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna let it bleed and leave it and do its thing, okay? Um, actually, I think what I wanna do too, one of the horns has to be in front, so I'm just gonna mop up a little bit of a white area here for the horn after to kind of come through there. Maybe darken just around here. So I want one of those horns to come out from there, okay. So we're gonna let that part dry and we'll work on the T-Rex. So let's pick a color for our T-Rex. I think I'm gonna do a darker green and yellow. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so again, wetting up our brush, I'm just gonna take a light wash of green just so we can see it. And I'm gonna go along the whole T-Rex, leaving that back leg bare like we did with the, the Triceratops. Okay, just going around. I'm actually really enjoying painting these dinosaurs. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. You can have so much fun with the textures and the colors with these. It was not fun to draw, but the painting part is a lot of fun. So I even suggest if you wanna do this with your kids, you can you know, create a stencil of the dinosaur, trace a dinosaur, and just do a bunch of wet on wet techniques and they can create their own. This is so much fun. Sorry, this is so much fun. Okay, so make sure it's all evenly wet. Okay, and then start dropping your colors. I'm gonna take some Hooker's Green. It's a bit of a darker, brighter green. I'm gonna add a little bit of dioxazine purple, I think, just to darken it up. Yeah, and I'm gonna go along the back of my dinosaur like this. And I'm gonna start doing fun dots like that. Okay. And then I'm actually going to switch to my smaller brush and I'm going to take some yellow ochre. Maybe mix it with a little bit of brown and go underneath here. I'm going to try missing that. Oh, I should have left this little arm here. I'm gonna mop it up and leave it white, and I'm just gonna go around it. There we go. Add some brown to the face. I'm gonna go around the leg a bit. Underneath, I'm gonna add a bit more yellow. It's so fun. But I think I'm gonna make an even darker green. So I'm just gonna add more purple to my green. It gets really, really nice dark green. And I'm just gonna go up the back again. And 
and then start dropping in some dots. Like that. So fun. I love these bleeds that you get with this. So cool. That's awesome. And we'll do the teeth after. I'm just gonna darken up the face a bit. Want some of those dots a bit darker. Okay, and there we go. So we're gonna wait for those to completely dry and then we will come back and do the other legs and details. Okay, awesome. So now that it's dry, we can start moving on the legs and all that other stuff. So for the Triceratops horns, I'm just going to do a light brown and I'm going to, this one's gonna be in front. So I'm just gonna go a little bit into the head for that little white space that we created like that. And this one will be behind. So you're not gonna see where it goes into the head. And then you can grab a little bit more brown or black or whatever you need. Just darken up maybe the underside of it. Like so. Like that, okay? And then we're gonna do those legs. I'm just gonna take a light wash of that orange reddish color that we have. I'm just gonna go over the legs like that. And you're just gonna drop in more of that color. So I'm gonna take that dark red and I'm gonna go around like that. Maybe take a little bit of the yellow ochre, throw it in there. Blend it out just a bit. Take a little bit of brown. Like that. Then I'm gonna do the back leg. It's gonna be a bit darker because it's in the shade. The body is casting a bit of a shadow on it. that. We'll do the same with this back leg here. too much. Blending it out. It's all good. <laughs> and then I'm going to leave a little bit of white space between this back back leg and that leg so they don't bleed into each other or you could always wait for them to dry. And I'm just going to make it a little bit darker. Okay, and then for the eyes, like I did for the other one, you're just gonna do a little, just very simple, like that. Okay, I'm gonna do another eye. Where is the, I have to look and see where the T-Rex is eye. I think it's up here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, like that. And then maybe it has like those nostrils, like that, okay? And then we can do a little bit of detail on the teeth here. So I'm just taking my dark brown or black and just the tip of my brush and just creating some sharp T-Rex teeth. Like 
that. And now we can do his back legs. So let's grab our, our lighter green here. Go over the whole thing. Same with this one. And then we can start dropping in some of that color. Let me grab some of that darker green do some dots on his legs for some texture. Like that, make it darker underneath here too. Might even grab some of that yellow ochre, just a little bit. And then the forearm. Like that. Just grabbing a bit more purple and green just to get a nice dark green. I think we're done and I'm really happy with them. I think they look so cute. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day. Say have a good day. Oh.